Good morning, fans and YouTubers everywhere. We got a cool video, some new stuff from Harbor Harbor Freight. <laughs> oh man, I get so excited when I see new stuff from Harbor Freight. Yeah, they got some new stuff over at the freight. Hey, I got my uh, iced tea out here in the garage because Arizona gets hot, buddy. It is so hot in Arizona. It's hot. How hot is it? It's hotter than a snake's. Never mind. Anyway, just got some stuff out here for visual interest before we get to our video because we get some of the same. But, uh, yeah, uh, Matt Woods claimed his prize and we're going to be sending it to him. I just wanted to tell everybody real quick that Matt was a huge supporter of Project Blue Sky. Here is a link <laughs> to the playlist if you guys didn't see that. Really cool project that we did. And uh, Matt, Matt was in on that, and we really appreciate his help. And how cool that he won the flashlight that I am so jealous of, because you cannot get these now. They did run out of them. And for any of you that supported the channel by going out to Old Line and clicking and buying something, because you weren't going to take a chance of winning it on my <laughs> channel. You know, it supports the channel, and I really, really appreciate it. So thank you very much. I wanted to tell you guys, look at the paint all over me. Um, I, I got a chance to use this for some painting in a room that wasn't lighted very well. Man, I adore this thing at Harbor Freight. Man, this is like one of the best things that they sell. Now, remember, they have a new one that you can change the head on it and stuff. But I'll tell you, man, just, you know, here's the old-fashioned things, you know, the old-fashioned ones. Because I just love this thing. It's one of the you know, like the cart, the best purchases I ever made. So that is it <laughs> from there. I want to show you some pictures. Oh, there he is. Look at these pictures are so cool. Randy K sent me his cart mods. Now, you guys remember video up here, our mod where we attached a Husky from Home Depot tool hanger to our cart. And I even modified mine further by putting power to it and everything else. Now, Randy, I guess, is like me because he doesn't like to modify his car too much. So what he did was he used the hangers that came with it. Now, the problem is that it teeters it. You know, it wants to, to you know, tilt in like that on the bottom. So it looks like what Randy did was used the bracket like what I, you know, see the video again. I used a a bracket that I had taken the magnets out, the magnetic tool hanger, and I used that at the bottom to attach it. But he, uh, Randy just used it to keep, you know, keep the thing sitting straight up and down. Now, that is exactly what the magnets on that Husky tool hanger are for, is because the, the hooks that go over the side here cause the tool hanger to stand out a little bit, and so the magnets rest up against you know, the side of your cabinet or whatever, and it just kind of puts a spacer there so that it hangs nice and vertical. Very cool. Randy, thank you for sharing. If you guys have some of your own too cool tool cart mods, please send them to me. I would love to see them, and we'll put them out here on a mail thing that we do. <laughs> so excited about the new Harbor Freight stuff. I got to take a drink of my cool sweet tea. Mm. Oh, so good for my diabetic. Sorry, Doc. Anyway, new U.S. General Carts. Now, we saw this red one, right? Okay, so yeah, we saw that. But look, now they've got it. three new colors. Black, blue, and green. Three new colors. So, why am I freaking out about this? Well, I am kind of freaking out about it because we're we're I'm I'm thinking about doing a project and we'll get to that later. So please stick around and don't forget to hit the like like this guy. <laughs> And click that notification bell so you can get something when I have a new video out. But the reason I am loving this cart is because I, I started running the number sequences and there's two numbers left over after the green cart. So I think they're like the green cart ends in seven, uh, five, six, six, zero, seven or something like that. So zero, eight, zero, nine are not taken up yet. So I'm guessing that that's going to be yellow and orange. 
coming down the line through the pipe, whatever other cliche you want to use. So, um, yeah, they're, they're going to have all the colors. That's going to be great. I wonder if they're going to make white ones. Anyway, I'm putting on there the accessories and stuff. So, uh, let's talk about the stuff that you don't see between the lines for these carts, okay? Let's read between the lines. Okay, so look at this coupon right here. No, don't make a copy of that coupon. You're not getting it for $69, okay? This is an old expired coupon from last year, but not that far off last year. It was December, I think, of last year. And we could see that the cart was on sale for $69. And the original price of it was $89, something like that. So, um... It looks like the cart went up $10 at the beginning of the year, either way. So the original price was like $89.99, and now it's $99.99. So going by that, now we've got these cool new colors, right? So going by that reading between the lines thing and our educated guess, we can guess that we'll probably see coupons for this thing for around $79.99 is, is what the final gist of it is. So for about 80 bucks, you can get this cool little cart. That's what I'm saying the read between the lines is. So that's what we're looking for, for maybe our project, if we get to do it. So 80 bucks for this, you know, and that also follows their 20% off kind of model that uh, our, our friend over there, uh, Eric Smith, seems to have. He, he seems to love that 20% off model. So that's probably what we're going to be seeing it for. Now, let's talk about why would you want this car? Dude, still, you got this really cool Ford Drawer cart, man. I got my Ford Drawer cart. Why would I want a silly old one drawer cart? Well, okay, first of all, let's look at it, okay? This is a, a light utility cart. And yeah, they have other light utility carts with two spaces or or three spaces or whatever. And I think somebody actually commented on this one time. This is a cool car because it's got a drawer and it's got a locking drawer. So you're going to get a couple of keys with it like we have here, right? And you're going to be able to lock it, you know, for the usual suspects. And that's where our project is going to be coming up. So, um, you know, what... What are you going to use this car for? Why do you need that car, Dale? You've got a car. Okay. So all these carts are about, you know, are 30 inches. You know, this way. The the width going this way. But the depth is all different on these carts. So this cart, the five-door cart, is coming in at, at, what, 22 inches, right? In depth, something like that. You know, give or take. do do Ah, oh, yeah, it's not 22, it's, it's 21 and 15 sixteenths, I measured it. Okay, we don't have to be precise here, it's about 22 inches, so just, just settle on down there. And, okay, we've got the four-drawer version of this car, it's about 18 inches, it's four inches, you know, skinnier that way. The, the, the new hotness, the, the red cart and the, the red, black, blue, and green, the, the new single drawer cart now is going to be 16 inches by 30. So the width is still the same, but the depth is smaller. Why is that a big deal? Well, I'll tell you why it's a big deal for me for a DIYer guy is when I got this cart, I envisioned this grandeur, you know, I'm... <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not going to put a, a blurring dream sequence in here, but I <laughs> envisioned that I was going to... Did I just snort? I think I just snorted. <laughs> Getting too excited. I envisioned that I was going to have all the, the DIY tools and things like that that I needed in my car and not just be able to take it out to the car when I was, you know, doing routine maintenance or or you know, whatever I'm doing there, but also, you know, I was going to, going to wheel that baby right in the house, you know, and, and have all my stuff that I needed right there in the house. Well, guess what? 30 inches wide. Okay. This is kind of a behemoth. This, you know, the third, the, sorry, the, the 22 inches wide is not that big of a deal, but then the 30 inch depth here, you know, you, it starts adding up and the weight and everything else. And I can't imagine what you guys are doing that are even hanging a, a bank of drawers off the end of this thing. 
So, yeah, it gets to be a behemoth when you want to take it inside of your house and move it around, you know, past furniture and walls and through doorways and that kind of stuff. So, long story short is that that never came to fruition. So, my thought is, you know, for the tech or whatever, okay, who's going to use that cart, that, that new 16-inch cart, this, this new one with the single drawer? Well, think about it, guys. A loop tech. You know, how many tools does a loop tech really need and you know loop tech guys don't get mad at me okay you're going to have a nice toolbox and 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 whatever because you're not going to be a loop tech forever but you know you put a bank on the end of even this car here it's pretty heavy to move around a lot of guys are going to grab a handful of tools and go over there you're going to have your parts you know your your usual suspects that you're going to put in this top tray or the drawer or whatever okay so you're going to your big toolbox or this toolbox or whatever your standard toolbox is, you know, you're going to wheel that little cart over there. You're going to throw your things in there, the parts, you know, for the customer's car or whatever, and you're going to go over there. Same thing with someone like a, um, a detailer or a diagnostic or imagine a service rider. You know, service riders need a card. They need, you know, maybe um, a, a, the service uh, guys at, at Walmart even have a handheld thing. So, you know, this little cart is going to be very maneuverable. Now, for the DIY guys, yeah, you know, you're going to grab your your uh, your drill driver, a handful of wrenches or, you know, a socket set or whatever. And, you know, this is not going to be too heavy, even with stuff in the drawer and in the top, to, you know, grab that little round side handle and lift it up a little bit and get it up over the the entryway to the house or, or whatever you have to do. So you can wheel it around the house more freely if you have a ceiling pan you're hanging or you're doing some painting or whatever. And at 80 bucks, who's going to worry about getting a scratch on it or getting a little bit of paint on it or, or something like that in your DIY project? It's going to be perfect. Now, the other thing I wanted to mention for the professionals is, you know, you've got the top of this thing open. Okay, you've got a car on a lift. This this thing is up pretty high, you know. Okay, when this when this top is open, and yeah, you can drop it back if you did one of my mods. See my five mods video. <laughs> if you did one of my mods, you could drop it all the way back. But the idea is, you can work from any side of this car. It can wheel under a car that's on a lift. There's just a lot of reasons to have a great built cart like this. And if you look at this picture, you'll see that the the bolt, you know, the way it's put together is a, is similar to the four and the five drawer carts. U.S. General just does it really good. Now, that reading between the lines again, let's look at some of the features. Okay, it's going to have powder coat. That's great. But this is probably about the, I'm expecting that it's going to be about the same gauge of steel that what we're seeing in the four drawer cart. Okay, so... We're, we don't get a really cool drawer handle on here. It looks like it's plastic. We're getting, they're, they're not talking about the ball bearing draw, drawer glide. They're just saying that it has ball bearing glides. So these are not going to even be 100 pound glides on here. But it's going to hold the usual suspects that you're going to put in that drawer and it does lock. It, it has like these plastic looking handles on them and, and we'll see what that looks like if, if we get to do our project. But I'm liking the, the handles that they have on either end to push it around and the four inch casters instead of five are going to be fine. I think it would still at 30 inches in length is going to be more maneuverable if you have four casters on it. Also what I'm thinking too is because this is so similar is that some of the other accessories, of course, you know, all the magnetic accessories, but maybe the uh, the bumper guards for the five-drawer cart and four-drawer cart will probably fit on this one as well. So you can keep the customers, if you're taking it in the house, you can keep the walls, that kind of thing safe. So a lot to love about this product. All the links and information are in the comments below. I hope you guys like it. Now, let's talk real quick about what the project is because I want you guys to come and help. Well, come and help whatever. in the comments, maybe, you know. It's a, it's a long way from Pennsylvania. So, <laughs> but 
we're going to do, I'm, I'm thinking about doing this for a friend or something, you know, uh, DIYers, usual suspects. So what are the usual suspects we would tool this cart up with? Well, I have some ideas on my own, but what I was going to ask you guys is if you will put something in the comments, what are your ideas for a DIY cart? If you had something like this, what are the the handful of tools that you might keep in the drawer or you know in the top till of this cart for your little do around the house projects or whatever i'd like to hear about it and we'll present some of them if we move forward on this project let me know if you're interested in this project send me an email to blindguycan at gmail.com and who knows maybe it'll end up in a video that's going to just about do it for this one. I hope that you guys enjoyed the content. I hope that you love these new cars as much as I do. And I hope that you will stay safe and stay healthy and take care, everybody. And if you're coming up on your weekend, make it a good one.